Welcome back. It's 823. We have the newest member of IMPD's Victims Assistance Team with me this morning to give some perspective on recent violence in Indiana. This is DeAndrea Dykus. Good morning to you. Hi, good morning. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's our pleasure for sure. DeAndrea has been on our air for many reasons in recent years. We just reported last week about your position with the police department and tragedy really thrusts you into advocating against violence because of what happened with your son. Yes, it did. DeAndre was shot and critically wounded a little bit over eight years ago. And um, it just put me into, you know, a space of wanting to share his story and, and share what it's like uh, for those that actually survive a gunshot wound. And that was during a birthday party. Yes, it was. Which I think at some point was particularly you know, caught a lot of people's attention because that's a moment of celebration and mm -hmm. then his life has changed forever. How is he doing? He He's doing pretty good. Um, DeAndre still doesn't walk or talk, but um, he's happy. He dances and bounces in his wheelchair and he smiles. And so I'm really grateful for that. This past weekend was particularly violent. We had many headlines just yesterday here on Daybreak. In one case, a 16-year-old was shot and killed. Mm. What is your message to the family and friends of that teenager? I think the first and foremost thing is just, you know, our prayers are with you. It's such a familiar journey um, in our city. We're hearing it over and over again. I don't want the community to become numb to it, but continue to show love and encouragement and even in that space to share hope um, that somehow, some way we're gonna get through um, the tragedies that have impacted our city. But to that family, just you know, love and, and continue prayers. And then Sunday morning, of course, six people shot, one yes. killed at a birthday party. Yeah. What did you personally go through when you heard that news? I mean, the first thing you think is, it's like your heart sinks. And for me, I always think about the parents, the mother in particular, and and how, you know, one shot, one, one act of violence literally changes your life forever, forever. Whether you lose a loved one or a loved one is injured, your life has changed forever. And so my thought was, we, there's more people on this journey. There's more people on this journey. And then the next thing is, why does this keep happening? Why are we continuing to use gun violence or use a weapon um, to to navigate our problems and our issues? It's just it's just it's 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 causing a dying generation. I can imagine that question <clears throat> is really causing your motivation behind your new role with IMPD. Tell me about that. So the new role is um, manager for non-fatal advocacy and support. And that's really what I want me and my team to do. Uh, come next week, there'll be three of us. And I want us to really get out here and advocate and support those who survive gun violence by way of providing resources, connecting them to things that I remember that I did not get when DeAndre was released uh, from the hospital. And so uh, resources, uh, mental health, trauma, how to get to doctor's appointments, making sure they stay connected to the detective on their case and kind of been that community liaison to to help them know that, to let them know that they are supported in this space and that they do have advocates that are willing and ready to speak up for them. It sounds like our community is very fortunate to have you in this role and to know that our conversations are going to only continue from here, but we yes. thank you for coming in this morning and starting it. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. Happy it's to. a pleasure. It is